Assalamu alaikum viewers how for best of your health and ima today's topic is oscillatoria today we are going to discuss what are what is oscillatoria it is a genus of cyanobacteria which is most important genus of cyanobacteria so we're going to see what are some characteristics of the oscillatoria first of all the taxonomic position of the oscillatoria taxonomic position of oscillatoria as we know kingdom it starts from the bacteria division cyanobacteria class cyanophyce order oscillatorales and genus or family oscillatoraceae and genus oscillatoria so this is the uh, you know see the uh, taxonomic position or the taxonomic classification of the oscillatoria then uh, here is the occurrence what is the occurrence of the oscillatoria how do they occur and where do they occur so where do they occur they have a wide range of the habitat and uh, the habitat are the freshwater streams damp places moist places ditches drains so wherever you see the moisture or the water there will be oscill growth of the oscillatoria they can be present in the form of the patches on the you know mud uh, surface where the water is present or moisture is present and abundant on the uh, uh, you see the uh, on the organic matter where there is a, or a large amount of the organic matter it can be decomposed and you will see the patches of the oscillatoria or the you know this type of the uh, entangled filaments to cover all of the surface of that organic matter it is not the uh, uh, habitat where you will see the oscillatoria and also you will see the oscillatoria in the form of that their filaments are the uh, you know entangled and the present floating on the surface of the fresh water so this is the occurrence of the oscillatoria next is the thallus thallus is the dead body of the plant you know the plant body which cannot be differentiated into root stem and leaf this is known as the thallus and all of these are because of the lower plants or the lower organisms even the prokaryotes so this that's why these body is known as the thallus and the thallus of the oscillatoria is a fresh uh, uh, you know it is a free living trichome and uh, trichome is known as a row of the cell chain of the cell filament form so this is a free living trichome mostly and it has a distinct filamentous texture so this is the thallus and single row of cell is present you know side by side single row of cell is present in a single trichome and it is unbranched and it is a um, you know it's a gelatinous sheath is thin because they are covered with the gelatinous sheet so their the gelatinous sheath is thin so this is the thallus characteristics of the thallus and their cells are the cylindrical if we see the cell structure the cells there's the you know uh, the structure of the cells or the uh, you know shape of the cells so they are the cell shapes are the cylindrical but they are broader mostly the broader than their length so they are more broader than their length and their shape is similar cells all cells have a similar shape but just one apical cell which is convex in on the top side you know it is top side all the filament just one cell it is convex at the top side of the filament and uh, the uh, you know septa is also present but they are faintly visible very you know thin septa or uh, not in, uh, that much visible or prominent septa are present and uh, they are uh, just uh, you can find out the septa due to the presence of some granules around the septa so it is uh, it can be visible or it can be uh, you know feel out where that there may be a septa uh, you know septa is just cross walls present within these cells uh, there uh, then is the cell structure cell structure is uh, you know the all cells are the same in structure same in the shape they are in the filament complex mitochondria golgi complex uh, you know uh, endoplasmic reticulum these organs they are not present as they are they are the you know eukaryotes so uh, miscellaneous sheath if we say that the what about the miscellaneous sheath they are uh, uh, you know they is the stable but it is not outside the cell but in most in you know few cases the miscellaneous sheet is present outside the cell wall because cell wall is present and a hard good cell wall is present which gives the uh, great shape to the uh, all cells of the uh, you know the uh, oscillatoria plastids plastids you know they we see the uh, pigments or plastids are not present just pigments are present you know in the cytoplasm or in this way or in this case oscillatoria the pigments are present in the form of the sacs and these sacs are known as the lamellae but these sacs are not uh, you know arranged one over the other like the grana of the modern plants so this is the arrangement of the 
pigments in the uh, oscillatory and what pigments are present as they are cyanobacteria they are blue green algae they are blue in color and blue because of the presence of the phycocyanin and the other pigments are the chlorophyll carotenes and uh, phycoerythrin so these are the pigments the next is the nucleoplasm so nucleoplasm you know is the uh, nuclear material they do not have any nucleus or nucleolus so that's just their genetic material is present in the cell in the as like a central body is the same uh, as we have discussed in the general characteristics of the cyanobacteria or as well as in no stock so this is the same uh, characteristics of uh, nucleoplasm or the nuclear material which is present in the oscillatory or all the species of the cyanobacteria uh, reserve material, uh, material reserve material is in the form of the sugars and the glycogens and the most important the uh, cyanophycin which is a proteinous uh, source of the uh, you know uh, proteinous reserve food so this is present in the phycocyanophycin uh, and the one was more is uh, the characteristic which is you know is uh, addition to the oscillatory which is a pseudo vacuole may be present in this case so, so pseudo vacuole may be present and it have some uh, uh, you know in some species it is present or have the some uh, material present in this so in this where the cell structure varies, nucleus plasma cell walls, uh, you know, its uh, organelles or its pseudo vacuole. Uh, then uh, oscillatoria have little bit movement. So what is the movement of the oscillatoria? It has a sli uh, slightly, you know, slow rhythmic movement, uh, but, uh, but uh, have a little bit active movement. But it is uh, slow rhythmic and active movement. It's just like a jerky pendulum, and this movement is also known as oscillatory movement. You see, uh, we uh, we see the word, we speak word of, uh, many times, and uh, we see that it is like uh, oscillation or oscillatory movement. It means like jerky movement. Uh, pendulum like so this is the same word comes from the oscillatory so it is this oscillatory movement uh, growth if we see the growth of the uh, growth of the oscillatoria so growth of the oscillatoria is intercellular means uh, between the cells so intercellular means if between the cell division takes place cell uh, gonna you know break and uh, form the more cell longitudinal is uh, you know right angle this you may be uh, this is uh, this means right angle division is right angle to the longitudinal axis so longitudinal axis this is if it is you see this is longitudinal axis okay then uh, right angle to the lo longitudinal axis you will see that so if it is longitudinal axis so right angle to the longitudinal axis is like this so this is uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, the division of the oscillatory the, in this way division of the oscillatory take place and the growth of the cells take increases in the length so in this way the increases of the length of the filament or the size of the filament and uh, uh, you know is this uh, uh, wide uh, if we see the breadth or the wideness of the cell is not uh, more than a cell uh, no more uh, growth in the wide, uh, wideness or the breadth of the cell just increase in the, the size and the length of the so the last and the most important characteristic of the uh, any living thing is it is its reproduction how do they reproduce so the first process is the re fragmentation fragmentation is that process in which the fragment or the filament is divided into the fragments so filament broken down into the fragments and each fragment gives rise to the new new individual new oscillatoria so this is known as the fragmentation and it is a hormone goes to the reproduction as we have discussed in oscillatory reproduction of the you know the reproduction of the cyanobacteria that how the cyanobacteria reproduce so the one process which is in the hormogons and hormogons is that process in which the breakdown of the fragments take place and this breakdown of the fragments of the hormone hormogons take place due to the presence of a dead cell whenever the dead cell comes then the uh, you know the, uh, the breakdown or the uh, break take place in the filament the second form is the necridia necridia is the other form of the reproduction in the um, you know is in uh, oscillatoria so how do how do the necridia reproduction take place that the cell grow increase in size growing season what happened to the self cell collapse so in the growing season what happened to the cell cell collapse when the cell collapse the protoplasm uh, is uh, you know is filled with the mucilaginous uh, material so is mu mucilaginous material now this cell having the mucilaginous material filling filled with the mucilage it is known as the necridia so this is the necridia and the dead cell is uh, uh, you know lost its turgidity this cell is now dead and it's lost its turgidity and mutual pressure uh, between the walls of the different cells it is uh, you know released and the cell uh, then become like a biconcave uh, shape because its pressure is released and cell is 
separated in the uh, form of the uh, uh, hormogonia so they are again because of the presence of the dead cells they are separated from the hormogons by concave shape pressure is released mucilaginous filled cell is known as necridia so first necridia is formed this is now dead cell and the dead cell by form by wave form so in this way the cell is separated and the new cells are formed from the necridial cell because breakdown present uh, take place in that dead cell so it was all about oscillatoria i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much for coming on my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and comment make sure to follow me on instagram bye bye allah hafiz